Guys, come on, put the piggies down, please. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase, where today I'm going to be using the Evil Minions mod, which allows you to get tiny little people to do the things that you just don't like doing in Minecraft, so that you can get straight to the good stuff. However, to be able to summon these minions in, we're first going to need to gain a few levels and then perform a magical ritual to start the process. Well, I say magical, it's more of a dark ritual. So when you've gained eight levels, which is all you need to start this process and spawn your minions in, is press the M key, which will give you this little menu here. You can either click never mind, which will close up the little menu here, or you can go to commit to evil which is definitely what we want to do not in life just in minecraft and we need to choose an evil thing to do so what do you want to do we can either make dinner i don't know why that's really too evil but we can either become a pop smash star or jam radio frequencies let's go to um let's become a smash star why not why not That was beautiful. So after every menu choice that you've selected, it will play a specific sound, which is kind of hilarious. And then it will say, um, the gods have accepted your sacrifice and take a couple of levels off you. So that one actually took four levels off me for some reason. So we're going to go to M, commit to evil again, and we're going to be professional. So let's click that one, see what happens. Headshot. Headshot. And then it will say... Oh, they've accepted my sacrifice. And apparently that did two each time, or four each time. Sorry, it did two twos for some reason. Usually it takes up to four. I think it might depend on what you choose to do to become evil. So we'll either take four levels off you for each one or two. So you can either do it four times or two times. We've done it two times and we've received this, which is the master's staff. Now, what we need to do with this now is spawn in our minions straight up. And just all you need to do to do that is right click and in pops a beautiful little minion. This is our little evil minion. How crazily good looking is this guy? He's got a, got a backpack on, he's got an axe in his hand, ready to chop stuff down, and these beady little eyes which are ready to commit evil. So, these guys can't actually commit evil too much, but they can help you out a hell of a lot. So, let's spawn in them, and you can actually spawn in a maximum of four, so we're going to do that right now. And there we go. There's four of them. Four little beautiful minions. And what are we going to get these to do first? Well, you can actually open up the minion menu again by pressing M. And in comes a different menu. So you can either unsummon your minions, which will bring them back into you. And then you can summon them again in a different place. Or you can do some jobs. Now, the first thing we're going to do is dig a mine shaft. And they can actually dig a mine shaft for you. And when you click that, you'll get this little box. And when we right click, when we decided where to place it, they will start digging an absolutely beautiful mine shaft. So let's choose just over here and then we'll click on a kind of like a flat area just to make it easier for them right click and then we'll come over here and start digging a mine shaft in front of your very eyes it's absolutely crazy the way they do it so let's watch them here they go off with their spades they've changed the spades instead of axes and they will build everything for you, you don't need to supply the tools at all you don't need to supply the materials for the stairs they'll build a spiral staircase all the way around the outside and just keep going down until you cancel the job i think or until they hit bedrock so you can actually cancel jobs by right clicking with the master's staff but for now i'm just gonna hover over here and let the magic happen and be back when they have finished this complete mine shaft. Right then, the guys are done, and they have made this mineshaft. Check it out. It's absolutely... It's just so deep. We're going to go down it and be careful not to fall down, which would be very embarrassing, which... I admittedly have already done when I was checking out earlier, but I want to show you some cool features what they do while they are building this amazing mine shaft. And one of them is that when they come across water and or lava, they can compensate for that. So this water would actually have flown right down into the pit over there and over here. But what they've done is put up little dirt blocks just so that that doesn't happen which is really clever and will stop the lava and water from ruining your mine shaft so it's a perfect mine shaft every single time and they have stopped perfectly down the bottom here so let's just go into our f3 coordinates and we are actually on y9 so we're very close to bedrock right now look how amazing that was so i unsummoned them quickly i'm just going to quickly set up a um a chest over here as well i think i'll do that there actually let me place it in a different location just because you have to be quite far away from it for the chest thing to work which um will make sense in a minute so what we're going to do is actually spawn in our minions again so i despawned them in a moment ago let's spawn all four of them in 
Are they here? There we go. There's all four of them. And what we're going to do is step away from a chest so that I'm not opening it and right clicking the chest, which means that is now the minion chest. So instead of them giving all this stuff to me, which is all the stuff that came from then after they dug the mine shaft, so a lot of cobblestone, you've got to admit, they will actually put it in this chest instead. So now we're going to show off another feature, which is strip mining. So if we go into M and then click strip mine, it will come up with this new GUI or little kind of blueprint. And because you've got four little minions you can actually do this up to four times in one go and what you need to do just a quick note is right click this chest straight away beforehand to make it the minion chest otherwise it won't work properly so um i'll right click here and one of the minions will go straight ahead and do that or two of them you've just mined up the chest i set up you little punks What's wrong with you? But anyway, let's set up another strip mine and there you go. For some reason, they're like doubling up. I don't know why that's happening, but usually they'll just do it one at a time. And we'll see what the strip mining process entails. And it pretty much just means they will mine in a straight line for a long time. And you can actually speed up this process as well by whipping them. There we go. There's a little kind of sound effect as well to kind of whip them into shape and get them to do it faster. As you can see, they can also place down torches and they will mine up all the ores in the way as well, which is a really clever feature of the minions. And um, the chest is gone, which is really unfortunate. But anyway, <laughs> they would have put it all in the chest if they didn't mine it all up. So this is another feature. They can kind of get going straight away. Just mine all of this all the way down and then start mining, strip mining to find all of the best ores that you like. We are um, on nine, I think. Yeah, why nine? So we will find some cool stuff. We've got some iron ore over here. What else have we got? And if lava or um, water becomes an issue, they will do what they did before and just block it up, which is really cool. And because I haven't put it in a chest, you just need to right click them with this master's staff and you'll be able to get your stuff back. There you go. There's some here right here. They kind of dropped it because they didn't put the chest right. So let's right click here and I think they've finished the strip mining process and see if we can make them put it all in here. I don't know if that will work. This will cancel the job that they're doing. And here we go. They're kind of glitching out a little bit. I don't know why this happened, but um, there we go. They still managed to do it. Managed to get all our stuff back. And I'm just going to unsummon them quickly because that usually fixes it. Come on, unsummon. Unsummon. What, what are you? Oh my god, there's loads of guys. These guys have got redstone. They can come back with some crazy things. So that are two of the really useful features of the minions. So we're going to quickly... I don't know why it's not unsummoning them. Let's bring them to the top and see if it will fix it. Um, let's go all the way to the top and show off some more of their abilities. So they've got some cool abilities. These two are easily the most helpful because they can mine for you where you're out slaying stuff and just doing some other jobs like building your house. You can get some progress going really, really quickly. And they give you the materials back as well. So let's go over to here to show off another feature. And wh why am I spawning more in? Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Let's go over to here and show off another feature. We need a piggy for this. And there's plenty of piggies over here. So come over here, guys. Guys, come over here please come over here what no i don't want your stuff you are glitching out like crazy right now let me re-log and see what happens here we go that's better i've re-logged and now they are baying me so let's bring them over here see what happens um how many have we got we've got um three of you that's fine for now um, stop teleporting, please. We need to grab this piggy over here. So these can actually pick up animals and players for you if you're playing this on survival multiplayer. So you just need to go up to a pig and right click it, which is interesting. So let's try this. Come on. Go and work for me. There we go. Look at that. That's so clever. Look at the pig. He's just like, what the hell is going on right now? So you can actually pick up up to three or four, depending on how many minions you've got active at the moment. So let's right click this guy and see if he'll pick up another one. There we go. We kind of teleported it over to him. They these are some crazy creatures right now. We'll pick up another one. And why would you want to do this? Well, you know how hard it is to get carrots and lure all these pigs into your farm. Instead, you can just pick them up and carry them over to you, which is really cool. And you can just make them put them down by right clicking them as well. Put the, put the piggy down. I swear, put the piggy down right now. There we go. Put that one down. They're going to get in the way, aren't they? Put this one down and this one down. And there we go. So what else can we make these minions do? Well, we can actually make them mine out a certain space rather than a mine shaft or strip mining. And all you need to do is go into dig with the um, ellipsis after it. And then it will have some dimensions. So we've got a 3x3 three three grid, which is fine. You can plus it by 10, plus it by 2, plus it by 1. And um, same in minus. But um, if we go to make it so, it will kind of give you this block here. And what we want to do is right Right click here and see what will happen i'm not 100 sure how it works whether you need to dig down first or not let's dig down first and see what happens let's dig down three and then what the hell what what was that anyway <laughs> let's carry on let's right click this bottom one here and see what happens go minions go where are you um um where are guys 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 oh they're under here are they are they really under here 
Ah, oh, here they are. That's fine. So he's going to make a 3x3 three three grid. I'm stuck in here. I am aware of that, but I've got loads of cobblestone to get out. And that is another cool feature. You can just dig out whatever you want. If you want to make an underground base, but not make a mine shaft, you can just dig out a massive cubby hole and you'll be able to do so. So let's get out of here because we do not want to be inside this any longer. And we can show off some more features of these cool little minions. So let's um, quickly unsummon these bad boys because they are getting pretty aggressive. I, I must say they're getting all out of hand. And there we go. We've got some. Right. Now we need to find some trees. So there's some trees right over here. And these guys can actually mow down forests at a time and give you the wood for it so these are really helpful to get straight away so if you can get up to eight levels straight away in your survival world with this mod installed it is very handy so let's just quickly go over this hill and i'll i'll meet you there right then here we go here is the forest that's spawn in our minions and get them to do something and what you need to do is simply just right click on a tree and they will spring into action chopping down any trees in their way so they'll carry on doing that collect up all the wood and then you just right click on them with this stuff to make the um all the wood and their inventory just pop out and you can collect it and you can also whip them to make them do it faster as well hey work faster you slackers here we go it actually helps a lot to hit them with this it seems a bit aggressive but it's fine they're evil minions they don't die it's all good and you can collect the benefits later on so he's just going to shove this is that all you collected really is that really all you collected guys all right let's see if we can cancel that and see what goods they have given us so right click this guy and he has given us lots of wood this guy has given us lots of wood and you can get loads of wood just all at the same time check this out i'm just completely full of wood right now that's amazing so there is actually one more thing you can do with these guys but it's not specific to the minions and how have we got five of them this is a creepy mod. Why are, there, why are there five of them? You can all get out of here. We don't need you right now. And this guy's just kind of like a loner. Where did you come from, buddy? But anyway, let's carry on with this, which is the Master Staff. You can actually do one more thing with it, and let's try it. It will drain your hunger, but it is kind of a cool little feature. Instead of whipping your minions with them, you can actually cook stuff. So if you hold right-click, you'll get this amazing lightning. It looks really cool. It will take down your hunger, and you can just zap stuff with lightning. This will create cooked pork, which obviously saves you a lot of cooking time. While you're mining, um, your minions are mining, which is really cool. So that is another feature of that, and he's come to find me again. Are you lost, little buddy? Are you lost? But anyway, that is pretty much the Evil Minions mod. And if you like what you see and you want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe to join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, then the like would be greatly appreciated too. So you can also catch me on my Twitter and my Facebook account in the description below too, which would be awesome. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye!